Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Robin, and I'm so happy that we can connect in this way. I know with the school and many other places that are shut down, that this might be a sad time for you because you're missing your friends and teachers. But look at me sending you a big hug right now. We can connect this way now. And all of you always see me in the hall and ask me, when is my Earth Keepers Day? And now it's whenever you click this channel on your computer. And don't worry about all your favorite animals and plants because I took them all home with me to care for here. And although they miss you and want to see you too. So today's lesson will be on our frogs. Remember, this is what a frog looks like inside. And this is our life cycle. So remember, the mommy frogs lay their eggs, this jelly-like material, um, in the water. It's not like a bird's egg. This is more like a jelly. And then each of these little black dots hatches out into a tadpole with no legs yet. They're like a fish in the water. Then, like Ribbit, our tadpole, they start to develop legs. And then eventually Ribbit will get his two front legs and he'll look like this froggy. And once that tail goes away, then you have your tiny little frog. And once these frogs grow up, they eat lots of bugs in the pond. This could be dragonflies. They have that big tongue that will grab it. Or crickets, like what we feed Hoppy. So now we're going to go over and check out Hoppy and Ribbit. Now remember, Hoppy is a green frog. And green frogs make a sound like a banjo string being plucked. It goes twang, and let's find Aunt Hoppy. He's under this rock where he likes to hide. Hi, Hoppy. Oh, come here, sweetie. Oh, there you go. There he is, boys and girls. We grew Hoppy from a little tadpole, and now he's so big. He's definitely a male, and you can tell that by his ear that goes underneath his eye. And the fact that he has been croaking non-stop since I brought him home. Um, so he's definitely looking for frogs, other frogs in the pond um, to play with. All the frogs in the pond, no matter if they're green frogs and they make that twang sound, or they're bullfrogs and they make that juggerum, juggerum, or they could be little tree frogs. And they're the ones that actually do the ribbit sound. Spring peepers will do the little peep, peep sound. And they all make those sounds because when it's dark in the pond, they have to find their friends. And so all they have to do is listen for the right sound and they'll know where their friends are. Now we're gonna find um, Ribbit. Oh, he's under the bridge, of course. So I'm gonna take him out. There's Hoppy on top of the bridge. We're going to move him over just a little bit. Sorry, Hoppy. Let's see if I can get little Ribbit. Come here, sweetie. There's Ribbit. <laughs> There's a quick view of him as he wiggled away because he still has his tail. So he still is like a fishy in the water. All right, I'm going to wash my hands. And then we'll go back. Awesome. Did you know spring is here? Yay. Every week. We've been noticing on our forest walks all the spring changes on the forest path. We've seen all the birds singing and making their nests, and baby leaves or buds coming out of our trees and bushes, and baby plants are starting to sprout, and you might even have flowers in your yard like crocus, daffodils, and hyacinths. Tulips will be next. So look around your yard and see what spring has brought you. Listen, feel, and smell it all. And if it's raining and warm, remember, with your parents and a raincoat, rubber boots, and an umbrella, you can go outside and look for worms. Take a rubber duck or a boat toy out and find a safe puddle to put them in or to jump over. 
Birds will sometimes use puddles to take a bath, and you might be able to see them do this. Our plants and trees need rainwater to grow, so look for all the raindrops on the branches. And have fun! And make sure you write a comment below and let me know what you're finding all around you. Beckett already told me he found a robin's blue egg. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe to this channel. And then your mommy and daddy will know when I put up a new lesson for you. And Miss Erica is also going to email you all my fun outside activities that you can do on your own at home each week. And now I have the golden egg. I promised you all we would be getting a new baby animal that starts with the letter D. It's in this golden egg. What do you think it is? Stay tuned tomorrow and I will open it for you all.